In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the ESP8266 to send emails, perhaps uh, send an email alert on over temperature or low battery. I'm going to demonstrate how to do the, send an email manually first using Telnet. Telnet was the original uh, email application and uh, you can install that on Windows 10 using Windows uh, options and uh, you run it at a command prompt and there's a good uh, tutorial there I put the link at the bottom from Microsoft shows you how to use Telnet so to begin sending an email you need to open a connection to the mail server in this case I'm using Google's and so use O for open you can use the question mark for all the help uh, open the simple mail transfer protocol server at gmail Com. so I'll type in that logical address could type in the IP address if I knew it and I'm going to use port 465 which is the um, the secure email port number next notice how the uh, SMTP server responds with a status code we need to uh, later on utilize those codes for success this case it's code 220 which means it was a successful connection and uh, so that's the bit I want to emphasize here next in the uh, sending email command sequence I need to say hello and the command is H-E-L-O it's only one L, one L. Um, there's also you could also say E-H-L-O which is a sort of an extended command sequence so hello and your domain so I've said hello g6ejd.dynu.com but it could be anything actually as long as it's a valid domain address now let, let's have a look at me trying to do this for real so I type telnet at the command prompt and I'm opening the SMTP the simple mail transfer protocol server at gmail.com I'm going to use port 25 of that will become obvious later on there is the response I say hello from the domain my domain enter that it responds with 250 correct then I have to start a uh, transport layer security session and ordinarily I would go on and authorize and enter the email the username and password but note that it timed out hmm. So that was me trying to send an email um, using Telnet. To do this uh, properly in, in full, this would be the full transcript. Uh, so start Telnet, type local echo so you can see the server responses. Open your your mail server address. So I said open um, smtp.gmail.com port 465. Four six, port 465 has a very short timeout for security uh, so I've used port 25 in this example hello your domain address or your email address auth login uh, then it responds saying I'll enter your um, username and password which has to be encoded in base 64 then you enter mail from um, your email address say who the recipient is to the recipient the word data then your body of your message then a period of full stop then quit and then the message is sent and typically you'll get a response like I've shown at the bottom a 250 for success and uh, the mail the item was queued for delivery earlier on you heard me mention that um, uh, using port 465 or port 25. Port 25 is a slow interactive uh, conversational um, process whereas port 465 is uh, for most servers has, has got a timeout set so you cannot do it manually. So how do we send an email? Well the ESP8266 is an ideal uh, platform for doing that and the first stages of uh, sending an email and we just replicate in um, in the commands so the first thing we need to do is open the server so open smtp 
www.gmail.com on port 465 and so stage one is client connect the server address and the port address the next stage is to say hello so hello in my example it was g6ejd.dynu.com next stage is to enter auth login authorize a login and wait for the response back from a server that's 250 to signify it successfully received that command then send your um, login name username then your username and password that have to be encoded in base 64 then um, send the mail from so client print line mail from uh, the recipient client print line recipient then data then the body then a then a period a full stop then quit and that's the message sent to the uh, recipient server so you see quite it's quite straightforward really to replicate the manual process of sending an email using the ESP8266 there are a few quite a few responses that can come back from the server categorized as the 200 300 400 and 500 series and then subdivided um, you probably won't see any of those in normal operation but at least they're listed there just for for interest more than anything um, I hope you found the uh, video useful um, and the code that's on github um, you should be able to embody in your projects quite easily to be able to send an email alert um, or or any other function actually that's it folks